So I would I would mostly encourage people to just find a starting point that is comfortable and try to get as much information as possible from sort of the people who are actually using it to see if and where it might be applicable in other parts of the organization. In terms of how to learn, um, there's there's no real wrong answer. I think that in general, the the, the most important thing to keep in mind is that the way to learn AI is by using AI. And I think having a bias towards um, towards solutions and, uh, a- a- and approaches that are getting people into actually using the tools is really important. This is why we created Super Intelligent. It's why we anchored it around short, fast tutorials paired with sort of, you know, step-by-step how-tos. We didn't want to create sort of a, a round of courseware that takes 10, you know, 10 hours before you're getting into, into the meat of something. We wanted people to be trying it within minutes. Um, I think also, you know, what we're seeing is that it's likely going to be a stack of solutions that that helps people learn how to do this stuff. Um, a, an example of this being, you know, there, there's a whole category of change consultants, strategic advisors, you know, people who come in, do the big two day seminar that get people thinking about things differently. It's really valuable. A lot of those folks are very good at helping people like jog out of, of their sort of traditional way of thinking and looking at that. However, if you think about those things as your only solution, you might miss sort of, you know, some of the more practical applied stuff. Likewise, if you were even, you know, as much as I'd like to have people just dive in and buy, you know, a thousand seats on, on super intelligent for their whole team. If you're not also having those big structural conversations, you know, at a management level around how this is going to work, how employees are going to be encouraged, how new policies can be used to support this, you're going to undermine the technology as well. And so I think just thinking holistically about this, treating it as a new paradigm for computing, a new paradigm for interaction uh, within the, within the organization, and, and between the organization and, and customers and other stakeholders um, will lead people to have appropriately holistic approaches to this sort of reimagining of the organization.